What's up everybody, it's Mike here with Grow Indoors 365. Yes, I am back, finally. I know you guys missed me. I know you guys missed this whole little growing situation. I, and I, I, miss, I miss keeping you guys informed and updated on what's going on. Honestly, nothing has been going on. Look how dirty my setup is. Since my last grow, I literally have left this to sit, I have no excuse besides life gets in the way. But guess what? We are back. I am back with weekly videos, information on how we can continue growing and maintaining our own grows. I'm pretty stoked, actually. I mean, I, I miss having my own grow, especially, and honestly, the, you know, the reason why I'm jumping back in and starting to grow some excessive amounts of lettuce. It's because all this crazy news about E. coli and it's coming from this lettuce and it's being delivered from this location and it's being sold at this location and I'm getting tired of it. Honestly, I'm, I'm so sick of hearing over and over and over again that I can't eat fresh lettuce and I, I buy lettuce all the time. My primary go-to is like Trader Joe's. They actually took their romaine off the shelves, at least around my area. Oh, God. If you're new to this channel, guys, my name is Mike. I'm an indoor gardener. I primarily uh, grow hydroponics, as you can see here. These are my hydroponic tubs. I have extensive videos, tutorials on showing you guys how to set up this whole situation in your own home. Everything from lights to this storage case right here to these these containers which are the reservoirs to your pump for your hydroponics fans lights everything tents you need all this stuff to grow like me okay bottom line is everything is linked right down below um, also make sure to give me the thumbs up and subscribe down here and don't forget to hit the bell because if you hit the bell all it does is send you a notification every time um, that I upload a video and trust me you want to know every time I upload a video because it could be pretty important stuff for you to learn if you're trying to do what I do here. Uh, all right, so what do we have here? In the last couple of days, I actually went ahead. Let's see if you get a good shot. All you see is here. Is there's a ton already that's uh, got their head up. Let me actually reduce contrast there we go made it a little darker so you could see a little more in depth of what's going on if you're new to the channel you're just starting out to understand what indoor growing is about these little um, kind of brown uh, squares are those are called growing mediums this is the rock wool it's actually linked down below with the remainder of the stuff that you need to to grow like this inside your own house but and there's also videos of how I pre-germinate my seeds now there's a there's a situation going on here there's a variety of of seeds that are already pre-germinated as you can see here all these green heads you see all these little green heads these are all lettuce that's already ready to rock and roll over here but not here not here not here but we also have some here now I did a few different variations I have a ton of these and I actually do not like this this is these are pelleted seeds and what that means is they come in this type of form as you can see it's like a little little eggshell and inside there, it's basically it's coated. Now inside of there is a seed. And as you can see closely here, let me see if I can get a good shot. There it is right there. You see how it's sitting inside of that Rockwell cube? <laughs> basically, I have to wait for it to hatch. <laughs> as crazy as that sounds, it, it, the shell, the exterior shell, um, it basically breaks away uh, as water is kind of, I guess, put on. Uh, over the top. Now, I, I honestly don't love this method because I feel like it takes way too long for the seeds to grow. And the way that I usually do it is the, the, a method that I taught everybody on the net. I mean, it's such a valuable lesson to learn on just basically you take a, you take a little dish, you put your seeds in there, you wait a few hours and then you just tap the seeds and as soon as they float to the bottom, you wait two to three days and boom, you're gonna have a little flower just like this growing inside the water. I mean, it's it's a miracle. You know, the seed is nothing but a dead little seed until you put it in the water and then the little seed basically hatches and you have something like this that starts to develop from that little seed. And I actually manually put these in, sing every single one, I manually pick up 
with a little chopstick and I place them in there. I have videos how I do this. Make sure to uh, watch until the end of this video and click on the playlist and then find that video. I mean, there's, there's tons of videos from A to Z on how to build reservoirs, what I do, how I set it up, how I drill these holes, what, what are these, the net cups that I use, the, these little clay pebbles, what are they used for? Everything. If you're new to the channel and if you're a beginner hydroponic grower, make sure to review the videos that I previously posted. Super informative. In today's age, we don't know what is going on with our food and I'm sick and tired. Again, I'll reiterate this information again. I am sick and tired of going to the supermarket and not being able to buy a nice head of lettuce because I don't know what's going on with it. There's too much news. It go, it's everywhere. E. coli, E. coli, E. coli. It's, it's going from the lettuce. It's growing from the cucumbers. Some of the most favorite things that I eat. I juice all the time with cucumbers. Now they're saying it's linked to cucumbers. First it's lettuce and it's like month after month. That's different information. It's really frustrating. And you know, it's, it's also interesting when I, uh, when I spoke about like an economic collapse and how you can maintain an indoor grow and, and, and seeds are more valuable than currency. I saw some comments of people, oh, that would never happen. Look at Argentina. Look at the certain places in the world that you're not even familiar with or you're, you don't have your ear to the ground to know what's going on in the news today to realize that for a piece of lettuce, it's, it's, it's probably more expensive than what you're paying for your mortgage. Because of the, you know, I don't even know the currency or inflation. I don't even know what's going on over there, but it's bizarre. To be able to maintain something like this on your own will allow you to basically survive. You know, allow yourself to grow clean and healthy food. And I mean, I, I only grow lettuce primarily, basil and a couple other things. But a lot of the other things that require pollination, which are flowers, it's a little harder to grow indoors. And I also have previous videos about that. So, with all of these, I mean, what do I have here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight, but nine, seven, uh, it's okay, it's nine, uh, 24, okay, uh, uh, 27. All right, so I, I actually basically have enough for a top row and a bottom row, and I think that's what's going to happen. I mean, I'm just waiting for these three, for these three um, trays right there, the top, these three right here, to, um, to get cracking, <laughs> literally. Um, and, and as soon as that happens, I'll get this all cleaned up, all this light will be shining, and uh, both of the pumps, I only use this pump, the General Hydroponic, the link is right down below. Uh, I only use this pump specifically for my grows. If you guys are buying other pumps other than the link is down below, I don't recommend it because one, they're underpowered, two, they overheat, and three, they're super loud. If you're buying this as a first timer and you know you want to spend thirty dollars instead of sixty, don't be foolish. Okay, you're gonna spend more time returning it, being annoyed. Your wife is gonna scream at you that it's too loud and it's a hazard because it gets so hot inside the tent. Only buy the pump that I recommend down below. I found it. Uh, you know, I found that, that pump by trial and error. I bought several pumps. I think I went through like three different pumps because I thought this one was better. This one was better. No, this is the one. The link is down below for the hydroponic pump. Hit that link. Also, a lot of you guys have been messaging me on Facebook and even through the channel in the comments, where do I find these reservoirs? That's a good question. If you guys are long time subscribers, you know that the company that made these has discontinued them, unfortunately. Now the links down below are now pointing to a different set, the same size, same amount of gallons of water, everything. And I think they could actually be pretty useful and they could definitely work out for you. In the near future, I'm really trying to get something together to provide my own type of uh, reservoirs and just everything that you would need like in a package. Um, that's far away, but that's definitely on the table because since I have a decent amount of experience on maintaining my grows, uh, you know, and I, when I say that, I'm talking about never, able, never failing in the sense of being able to germinate. This is the hardest part right here. Setting all this stuff is pretty easy, guys. Okay, you just the piece of plastic, you drill a couple holes on it, throw some net cups, you put some tubing in, put an air, you know aerator stone inside, and boom, you have yourself a hydroponic set. Okay, this is a pretty large scale. I mean, three reservoirs across at the bottom, three reservoirs at top. It's not easy to maintain this. Oh, we got a little guest. It's my buddy Fernando. Psst, psst, psst. I love him. <laughs> He's so silly. Um, and that's really it. 
All right, this video is going too far, guys. Uh, bottom line is, if you're new to the channel, thank you so much for joining the family. Let's truly learn how to grow together. Um, all the links of everything that I work with are linked down below. Okay, from the nutrients to the lights to the rock wool to the tubing, hydroponic pumps, fans, the shelving that's required for such a thing like this, and especially the tents. You need, you're going to need a tent. Okay, this mylar reflection is very important because when this is all enclosed in, you want as much light reflecting out into this area. Okay, I only open this up. I remove the dome as soon as I get home from work in, in this stage. Okay, it'll probably be domed for probably another week and it's kind of on and off, on and off. And uh, it's pretty cold outside and the, it's not even that hot inside the tent due to the fact that it's so cold outside. But you'll see um, as we progress every single week, I'll be giving you guys updates. And, um, you know, bottom line is I, I actually just, it just, it just, um, I actually wanted to talk about this. But what I wanted to say was the reservoirs that I found, I found a new one. <clears throat> okay. It's going to be the first link just on this video. And the, the other additional links will also include it. But those are all the things that you need. But uh, check this one out right here. Okay. I found it right online. And the link is down below for it. And I think it's going to work just, just well enough for everybody to maintain a good grow. And also, it's, 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 it's not white, so you might reduce yourself from having uh, algae buildup inside. Uh, you know, usually when you have something like this, there could be light that's uh, going through. And obviously, light's going to go through it because these net cups all have kind of... Um, they're cut in a certain way like this so there's probably going to be a, a possibility for light to get in that's why there's algae buildup now there's nothing wrong with the algae it's not harming your crop or anything but listen enough talk i'm just super stoked to be back i hope to get a thumbs up from you i hope to gain some more subscribers i mean we are growing big time guys so many people are reaching out to you know learn a little more in depth because they have some questions because they they found the video extremely helpful, like one of my largest videos that has well over 200,000 views, which is awesome. Um, and that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching. This is Mike with Grow Indoors 365. Also, make sure you um, check out growindoors365.com. It's basically just uh, images, some links to my videos, and also links to products that I found very helpful to, for me to maintain my own growth, such as all this stuff. Again, thank you so much. Give me the thumbs up. I hope to see you guys soon. Holidays are coming up. Winter is around the corner. Oh, well, winter's here. It's literally, it actually snowed. Let me actually take you right here, guys. Let me show you. It actually snowed, okay, in my backyard. There's already snow on the ground. It was a nice little, nice little sprinkle today, but uh, guess what? I got fresh greens that are going to be flourishing in the next 35 days. I'll probably probably hit these way earlier than that. Hopefully some way, somehow it accelerates and I can have some, a beautiful, delicious salad that is from my own indoor grow. All right, guys, that's it. Enough ranting because I'm just uh, super amped up to uh, be back on getting some videos online. Thank you guys so much for watching. Talk to you guys soon.